Have you ever wondered how to let go and let God? If so, then stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Justin and I want to welcome you to That Christian Vlogger, a place where you get to join me and experience faith in the first person. On this channel, I make new videos every single Monday and Thursday about real questions that real Christians like you have every single day, so definitely consider subscribing. A few days ago, Facebook reminded me of something that happened several years ago. I was doing a one month series at a local church in California, the same church that Emily and I actually ended up meeting at. Well, as Facebook tends to do, it showed me a video that I think that you guys are going to enjoy. During the series, I did a bunch of question and answer segments before the messages, and someone asked me in that session how they could practically let go and let God. Just as an FYI, the video is a little grainy as it was recorded before we had all these like nice lights and cameras, but I hope that you guys will still enjoy the message. Thank you, Justin. Now our second question for you is, how do we completely let go and let God work? All right, for this one, I actually have a, a really cool illustration that I want to, to get your help with. Can you guys go grab the, the props over there? Can I get a volunteer? Preferably a, a stronger male. Caesar, come on up here. All right, Caesar's gonna help us out. Give him a hand. All right. You ready? Okay, um, we actually got some things I want you to hold on to. These boxes represent the world. They're not that heavy. None of them are heavy. But I want you to hold on to all of them. Uh, sometimes when it comes to the world, we have a lot of things that we have to carry and hold on to, right? Have you ever felt like there's a lot of things that you're trying to hold on to, right? That was pretty good. You caught all of them, too. All right, now can you grab the, the last prop? All right, okay, so the question is, how do you completely let go, let go of the world? Well, if you're holding on to the world, it makes it really difficult. Oh, let's see if we can get it through the door. Turn it on inside. There you go. All right. Here we go. All right, Caesar. Now can you hold on to this? That's the correct response, right? Can you hold on to the world and simultaneously hold on to the cross? Yes or no? No. So if you're holding on to the world and you try and pick up the pieces of the world, it's a lot more difficult, right? So thank you, God. You can put that down now. <laughs> You just leave it so the answer more so is not so much how do you let go of the world, but more so how do you hold on to God. Does that make more sense? There's, a, there's an interesting story of uh, these people that were helping out with a hot air balloon, and they were holding the rope down so the hot air balloon wouldn't lift up, but unfortunately, the, the hot air balloon got too much lift, and it started lifting even though four grown men were holding on to the ropes. And as the rope was getting, uh, as the, the, the air, hot air balloon was going higher and higher, what you had seen is that these guys were actually getting lifted off the ground. Now, some of them made the, the wise decision to actually let go early on. And so that way they weren't very hurt. They maybe fell from 10 feet or 15 feet, and it wasn't deadly. But uh, a couple of people actually held on for too long, and they were getting injured. But there was this one man who actually, for, for, for not just a minute or two, but as the hot air balloon is going up, for, for over half an hour, he's holding on to this rope. The reporters come to ask him afterwards, how in the world did you hold on for so long? And he said this, he said, you know what, I tried at the beginning to hold on, but, but it was getting really difficult. My hands were getting tired, and, and I wasn't sure that I was going to make it. And finally, I got to the point where I realized that I simply couldn't hold on anymore. So rather than try and hold on to the rope, I grabbed the rope, and I tied it to myself. You see, if you're relying upon your grip strength, and if you're relying upon your, your own powers to hold on to Christ, you will ultimately fail. The secret isn't so much you trying harder to hold on to Christ, but allowing Christ to hold on to you. Amen? Amen? And for that, all you need is a complete surrender. Does that make sense? Amen. Amen. All right, uh, maybe we can move this stuff to the side <laughs> so we don't get distracted from the message. Thank you so much, Justin. That's it for today. I'm curious to know your thoughts. I actually have several of these kind of like throwback videos available, so if that's something that you guys would like to see, just let me know. Or was the video quality just, you know, too distracting and you just prefer me to make newer videos here in the office instead? Also, if you would like me to answer one of your questions, send them over to me on Twitter, at jku, and I'll be doing a few dedicated videos to the questions that I get on Twitter. But until next time, I'm That Christian Vlogger, and I'll encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.